This video shows how to set up Madrix with an AlphaFix controller. This setup is going to show a very basic setup and your setup will likely vary depending upon your number of controllers, number of universes, and types of lights. What we have here is we have a standard AlphaFix controller. It's simply running uh, with a 12 volt power supply and we have a single roll of 50 pixels hooked up to it. This particular roll of pixels is hooked up to output number one and that is going to be hooked up to this configuration. Here's our controller configuration. You can see that we have output one is universe one, 340 pixels. We actually only have 50, but this is the default configuration. Now, the first thing we need to do here is once we've logged into the controller, now if you need information about how to configure your computer for the IP address or any other setup information including wiring, see holidayquo.com slash alphapix for more information. What we have done is we have configured this controller to use ArtNet. This controller can see either E131 or SCAN or ArtNet. Now, even though Madrix can work with E131, we do recommend ArtNet. So we would select ArtNet and then click Set. Also in this case, from the defaults, we have changed the output chip color order. This is BRG because our strip used in this example is BRG, blue, red, green order. That's all that's needed from the default configuration that this would normally ship with. We're going to go ahead and minimize that. We've gone ahead and installed Madrix. Uh, you can see it has uh, some patching already done. As I'm talking, the colors are changing, as you can see. And what we can see that's not happening is we have no output to our lights. So let's go ahead and configure that. The first thing we need to do is go into Preferences, then to Device Manager. We're going to go to the ArtNet tab. We can ignore this ArtNet remote. We're going to add down here at the plus, add new device. We're going to say the number of devices, one. We only need one port, which will give us 256 universes. We're going to enable direct IP mode. What that means is, is we're not going to use broadcast addressing. We're going to direct the data directly to an IP address. Typically, you will not select full frames. Full frame simply sends all the data for an entire universe even if all the channels are not being used. We'll simply click OK and you can see that we've gone ahead and set up ArtNet 02 in this particular case and the current IP address of where we're going to be going to, now this is the IP address of my machine, uh, we're actually going to change that. So what we're going to do is go over here to DMX Devices and we can see that our ArtNet 2, so we're simply going to click on it. So all I've done here is I've clicked on my ArtNet 2 and we're going to change the IP address in this particular case to the actual address of the controller. Now just as a refresher here, the IP address is not only on the LCD, it's shown here, it will roll through the configuration, show you the IP address, but also we can see it here. And in this particular case, it is a static IP address of 192.168.0.50. So we need to tell Madrix to direct the data directly to that controller. So you can see it says send data only to IP address and it says 02 because that was the original one but when we click apply it says 0 0.50 so we're going to be sending the data directly to this now if you have multiple network adapters you may need to click this option and select the adapter now we've selected universe output 1 because in our case we are using universe 1 right here that is hooked up to output one you can see output one here so again this is a very simple setup just for demonstration your demonstration your setup may be different so I'm gonna click OK I'm going to click OK OK and at this point um, we should have output so we're gonna go back in double check everything oh I made one mistake here. We did not turn it on. So we need to go in here. It's set to state off. And I'm going to select enable. Click OK. And there you go. You can see that this responds to audio just fine. And what's showing in the screen is represented on the actual pixels themselves. That's how easy 
matrix is to set up with the AlphaPix controller.